Dilat ang mga mata, lapat ang mga paa sa lupa. Bagong umaga, muling aasa. Pag-ibig, walang pinipiling panahon, walang pinipiling pagkakataon. About this love that we have I called you last night But you were not there I didn't hear from you At all today I can't play this game I'm just wasting my time You leave me with no other choice But to say goodbye I want to work things out But what's the point of it if I have to be in love alone It's not worth it anymore It's not worth it anymore We shared a life that's full of love But now I realize we shared an empty home I will cry my last cry before I say bye-bye I will sing my last love song for you tonight Oh, I can't play this game, I'm just wasting my time You leave me with no other choice but to say goodbye I want to work things out But what's the point of it if I have to be in love alone It's not worth it anymore We shared a life that's full of love But now I realize we shared an empty home I will cry my last cry before I say bye-bye I will sing my last love song for you tonight Oh, I can't play this game, I'm just wasting my time But to say goodbye I want to work things out But what's the point of it if I have to be in love alone It's not worth it anymore No more No more I was single when I met, uh, met Tom for like a good 10 years. Um, I go through like long period of being single and then I'll, you know, have a boyfriend and then I'll go single for, for quite a long time. And, um, you know, we just happened to meet up and it just clicked, clicked. I was in my internship and Millie was a tech at the place I was doing my internship at. 
I thought he was handsome and nice, but that's, yeah. And Mike, I thought he had a great smile, nice personality, uh, very friendly, very outgoing. Physically met outside my door. That I was Ken and his white car. Yeah. Um, we were um, at the place called Rapture, and Ken kept leaning his leg against me the entire night, and I thought it was because he liked me. But I learned later on it was just because Ken likes to lean his legs everywhere and take all the space. <laughs> <laughs> I was comfortable, so. So was I. I can remember Julia when I picked her up. She ran in front of my car to come into the passenger side, and she was like walked so, so quickly. I looked. She the was other like, way. <laughs> like staring at the ground. And when she got in the car, she wouldn't look. at me. Well, on our first date, uh, it was a week before Valentine's Day. You know, I think like after the first drink, you know, we, we felt really comfortable with each other, and you know, this we we, we were obviously attracted to each other. So I was like. Oh, by the way, uh, do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? He was like, no. I was like, want to have dinner? He was like, sure. Hung out. We talked in the car. We just, that's it. That was like, I guess technically our first date. Yeah. yeah. We hung out and then we ended up like talking till sunrise. That time when you're like, when you're looking forward to hearing from someone that you realize that the relationship is growing to where you want it to grow to. Mm -hmm. Even before the first date end, ended, we already set up for our second date and just happened to be Valentine's Day. Natunaw sa iyong bisig, tila patak ng ulan ng mamasta ng iyong mukha. Yeah. 
my heart. She's like, I have to tell you something. And I was so drunk. We were watching a, a sublime cover band in Fire Island. And she's like, come with me. Let's take a walk. And I'm like, no, I want to stay. And it was raining. She's, she's like, I want to. like, no. She's like, because all friend. of our friends are there. And I'm like, what do you want to talk about? Like, what? And she's like, just come with me. And then we said our I love yous. And it was like pouring. And it was like it was magical. Yeah. It was like perfect. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was like unforgettable. Ken visited me in LA. I was there on business and he was going for a wedding. Um, it was the first time I had like a guy meet me somewhere else in another city. We're staying in my hotel room. It was romantic. Uh, not planned, but just it just felt like this is different than the other relationships I had had. So Nick was like my first long-term boyfriend. So this is like the first like serious relationship that I was having. So everything was new to me. One of the things I love about us is that we're so different, but being so different, sometimes you can, you know, come to like some struggles and from that perspective. I know what pisses him off. He knows what pisses me off. You know, we hopefully avoid those situations. And it, it's just this like gradual, like, you know, little by little. And, and beyond where we are now, it's just, it's going to keep on being that way because we're, you just change as a person. You're going to find, you know, well, maybe that didn't annoy me now, but it's going to annoy me like five years from now or whatever the situation might be. I wanted to make this relationship and I wanted to be in this relationship. And I was like, yeah, that's all I need. Like someone who really wants to commit to this and who really sees me for me. I love that he's very family oriented, very close with his, his mom, mm -hmm. his dad. We discussed having kids very early on. <laughs> we both knew that we, we love kids. Um, and eventually one day we wanted to have our own kids. Well, I was going through some family stuff and I yeah. kind of broke down at work and she was there for me in um, a very like real way. It wasn't I think it just kind of shifted for both of us. Yeah. It was more of like not just like a casual thing because once yeah. you kind of get into that like deep family stuff, everything just, I don't know, fell into place. But I, yeah, I mean, we pretty much said I love you within like like three weeks. It was very lesbian, right? You haul, you haulish. Sino ba ang makakapili? Sino ba ang tatawagin akin? Nais ko ng pag-ibig. Dahil ako'y nag-iisa Kailan ba ako'y di naluluha? Kailan ba ang buhay ay sasaya? Nahihirapan na ako ngayon sa nangyayari Sa akin Sana naman Mabawi na ang lungkot na nadadama Di ko na alam kung makakaya ko pa Ang mabuhay sa mundo na nag-iisa Kaya sana Dumating ka na Kailan ba Ako'y di naluluha Kailan ba Ang buhay ay sasaya Nahihirapan na Ako Sa nangyayari sa akin Sana naman Mapawi na ang lungkot na nadarama Di ko na alam kung makakaya
makakaya ko pa Ang mabuhay sa mundo na nag-iisa Kaya sana dumating ka na Hihintayin kita, hanapin kita Ang lumigaya pagkapiling ka na Hihintayin kita, hahanapin kita Upang madama ang lumigaya pagkapiling ka na Sana naman, mapawi na My plan was to get to Taiwan. We were going to have like a few days alone together. I was get, my plan was to propose then. Mm -hmm. Seeing how nervous he was, I decided to propose right before we got on the flight. I thought, you know, since we're in Alaska, maybe we'll see the northern lights. I brought my camera. I brought lights for the balcony. I upgraded <laughs> our room. You know, you have to go outside and check. So I was like waking up to check. Never saw the lights. When I proposed, I didn't want to buy him just a regular ring. I, I wanted to buy him a clatter ring from Ireland from the same store where I got mine. He didn't get down on one knee. He was like, here. And like, I was like, oh, an Apple Watch. And then I think I was like, wait, are you asking me to marry you? And then that was the proposal. It was so romantic. 2017, I was looking at whatever, like my, my bills. <laughs> And I was like, oh, I keep on paying this health insurance thing. So I just threw it out there. I'm tired of paying Obamacare. And you said, let's get married. You know, how much do you love me? And I, I, I just said this much. And I opened, we were just like snuggling in bed and I opened the ring. And then and she didn't get ass, it. I'm like, what? She was like, what? <laughs> but I remember Ken said, I need to talk to you. And I thought, I was like, oh my God, I'm in trouble. This is going to be serious. And then when he ended with that, I was like, oh my God, this is a solution. Like, it was really a solution. Um, but... When I said it, you, there's this like kind of chord that it strikes. Like, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> did we just say like, that? I didn't ask. She didn't really answer. Everything was upside down. I ended up proposing in Singapore. We were lying on the grass during a Christmas concert in the park, and I placed the ring on his belly. And I said, "Would you be my husband?" And the music that was playing in the background she happened to be Mariah Carey's. All I want for Christmas. So that kind of became our wedding song. Our wedding day was a great day. <laughs> it was, I loved our wedding day. It was we a lot so of fun. Much fun. We had like almost 300 people. But the whole day just felt special. It was weird. Like I've never experienced that before. It was just beautiful sunny day. And we met up with your mom. And we met my mom at Penn Station. The entire wedding, we danced the night away. We were very drunk. Growing up, I no, never thought I would get married, period. Like, I never pictured that happening. Like, me getting married to someone I love in front of my family and, you know, loving the person and their family as well. So, it was really nice.
Inabot natin ang langit. Maaring di na maulit. Bakit hindi na natili? Dati Inibig na kita Di ko naman nasabi Dahil may mahal ka ng iba Ngunit Muling bumabalik Aking nadarama sa'yo Ginugulo na naman ako Laging ikaw ang nasa isip ko Laging ikaw ang sigaw ng puso ko Ayoko mang lumayo sa'yo Pero kailangan kong gawin Sa panaginip na lang kita Bakit kay hirap magmahal? Lagi na lang nasasaktan, patuloy din lumuluha Nais kung mangkalimutan, aking nadarama sa'yo Kinugulo na naman ako Laging ikaw Ang nasa isip ko Laging ikaw Ang sigaw ng puso ko Ayoko mang lumayo sa'yo Pero kailangan kong gawin Sa panaginip Everyone has this dream when they grow up. You know, I want this perfect relationship, this perfect guy. You know, I want it to last till the end of time. And nothing is perfect, I promise. And if it's perfect, it's not real, I don't think. I'm <laughs> sure you're going to get burned, but you're going to get burned in any type of relationship. You have to be open to, to the possibility that um, you might find someone that is not within your standards. And you'll end up making new standards of... Of, of who you're gonna love. People aren't always what they seem. Like sometimes you have to trust that they know themselves. You know, now that we've, we're married, a lot of the things I think we, we face the same um, struggles that our, our straight friends do. Um, so our love really, it's, it's, it's not different at all, I don't think. And stay in love for 15 years, it, it changes. Because it, it goes beyond romance. It goes beyond um, attraction. There's, there's, um, 
compromise. There's um, ability to sacrifice, acceptance. Yeah. But also complement each other as well. Right? You don't have to really compromise who you are, but you have to understand that, especially as you get older, um, people, I think, tend to get set in their ways. If you don't make room, if you don't make space, for somebody, time, right. for the time for somebody to be a part of your life, then then it's going to be very difficult to, to have a relationship. Marriage is much harder than I ever thought it would be. Only because like I feel like we're doing so many big things at once. But uh, I think we got this. I'm grateful that you are so supportive. And I know that you're always there for me. Always have my back. I mean, I'll cook for you every night, you know, till the end of time. Like I'll always, I'm always gonna be your partner through everything. I will be stepping with you. Certain times I will be a step behind, just to push you or to make sure you're moving along well. Or maybe I'll be a step ahead to guide you. But I'll never be too far. I'll be right next to you forever because I love you. I love you. <laughs> Naghintay na ikaw ay dumating At aking makapiling sa buhay kong ito Giliw ko na yung nandito ka na Di na ako mag-iisa Sa piling mo ako ay Maligaya masaya Huwag ka sana mawala Huwag ka sana magsawa Ikaw pala ang kailangan Upang aking maramdaman Ang tunay na Pagmamahal Tagal ko nang hiniling Na ikaw ay dumating At aking makapiling Sa buhay kong ito Giliw ko Ngayon nandito ka na Di na ako mag-iisa Sa piling mo ako ay Maligayat, masaya. Huwag ka sana mawala. Huwag ka sana masawa. Ikaw pala ang kailangan upang aking maramdaman ang tunay na pagmamahal. Sa piling mo ako ay maligaya at masaya Huwag ka sana mawala, huwag ka sana magsawa Ikaw pala ang kailangan upang aking maramdaman
Laging ikaw